How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be working on the adventure bus. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. We're working on the adventure bus yet again. There isn't a bunch of stuff that we can do until we get the electrical system because we have to do that before we do the insulation. We have to do the insulation before we do the walls and we have to do the walls before we do this and that and we're pretty much waiting on the electrical system. I ordered some parts, I ordered the batteries and I'm going to order the converter tonight. The one thing we do have to do before that gets here is make the shelves because that is where the lights are gonna be going. So this is actually the shelf right here. It will literally just <clears throat> kind of like so and it will have a face, like a front end on it, so you can't really see into it, and there will be some doors, maybe. Yeah, so we're gonna put those up, build the rest of the supports that will house the, the fridge and the cabinets. We're gonna do the same thing for the bed, and we might finish the uh, seats, which I know they're kind of bad, the design is terrible, but it's gonna be strong enough, don't worry. They're glued together, they're screwed together, they're already solid, and there's gonna be a lot more stuff. As soon as we get the electrical system, we'll run the wiring, we'll do the lights, do the reverse camera, we'll do the audio system, then we'll do the insulation, then we'll do the walls, and then it should be done. It doesn't sound like a lot of stuff, but I, I think it's gonna take pretty much all the time that we have left. Also, real quick, I just wanna go ahead and thank the sponsors of this video, carmarshall.com. Carmarshall.com is a website that can help you guys save thousands of dollars on new or used cars. If you're in the market for purchasing a new vehicle, go check them out, you can save some money. Huge thank you to carmarshall.com for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos. They've been really, really supportive of the channel and I really appreciate it, so. Anyway, let's get to work. I think I'm gonna start um, I, I don't know where I'm gonna start, actually. Here's an interesting call I have to make. Hello? Hello, um, I'm calling to get a quote for a window tent. Okay, what kind of vehicle is it? Um, so that's where it gets interesting. It's actually a short bus. A short bus? Yeah. Um, it's a 2006, um, there are 12 windows and like one glass door. Now the side windows, are they two-piece windows? Yeah, they're two-piece windows. So you got four on each side, but they're all doubles, and then you have the two on the back, and then... Oh, actually I forgot about the back ones. Um, so there's, there's five on each side, they're all doubles. There's one, two, three, four on the back, and then two up front. Okay, sounds good. I will get back to you. Um, thank you very much. Bye. I understand why it's six hundred fifty dollars. There's a lot of windows to do, but oh Jesus, six hundred fifty dollars is uh, kind kind of ridiculous. So um, I'm gonna try to do it myself. The windows are super easy to do because they're just flat, real rectangles. I'll order some window tent. Um, actually, before I do that, do you guys have any suggestions for brands of window tent? I don't wanna get cheap window tent. I want some nice stuff, so recommend me some brands down below. Let's get uh, to work with the shelf. Pretty good. I like that location. Nice and strong. We'll have some L brackets and it'll also be attached to the roof. I think I'm gonna go 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 go, go ahead and do this. <laughs> Shelf number one is complete. I really like the way that turned out. As I said, we will have a support underneath in the middle and we'll have an entire you know, front part that combines the, the actual shelf to the roof. So it'll be plenty sturdy. It's even pretty, pretty sturdy right now, but I mean, definitely hobbles a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do a shelf on this side.
All right, so structurally the cabinet is done. You might be able to tell what's going on here. The fridge is gonna go in the end, which is why there's no bottom piece there. It'll slide on there. Over here, we're just gonna have two really big doors. The seam will be right there. One door will open like so. The other door will open like so. I saw this design uh, actually at a frozen yogurt place. Like the way the doors were, were really, really big and they were like planks of wood. It looked really good. So that's why I wanted to copy that. And that's why we're doing that. Also the drawers were a little annoying. So I, I wanted to get rid of as many as we possibly could. On the inside of the front door, there's gonna be like the thing for the silverware. It's gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited for it. A lot of you guys were telling me that I should block off some of the windows because of the rattling and because of heat and because of privacy. Well, you would be pleased to know that I am doing that up here in the kitchen we're gonna block the bottom half so there's gonna be a two by four right there there will be insulation behind it the only thing that you'll be able to see out is this top section over here the windows will be full size in the bedroom area I think on one side we're gonna do full size on the other side we are gonna do half size but now as I said we have to wait until we get some electrical components to do anything else for our speaker system we're gonna have a speaker in the bottom of each of the seats, because I figured that was a good location. We'll have one in the door. We'll have one over here. The sub is going to be on the back of this seat, so kind of in between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. I think that'll be a pretty good place to hide it, although I don't know if I want to put a subwoofer on something that I constructed, because as much as I trust my construction skills, it might rattle. We could try it, or we might just put it in a box in this corner. That will probably be more likely. Just put it in a box, put it right there. As I said, we'll have lights on the bottom of the shelves. We'll have a plug for appliances up here. We'll have a light switch that switches on all the lights. In the bedroom, I want a plug right here by like the end table and maybe over there for Audrey. The electrical shouldn't be too crazy. It'll be a lot of running wires. It'll be a lot of wiring, but we're only going to have like three or four plugs. Also, there will be one um, under the table over here. So yeah. I went back to edit the video and I realized I really didn't get that much done. So I'm back to get a little bit more progress. Here is the fridge that is going to be going into the bus. New Air actually sent this fridge like almost half a year ago to put on the bus, but I never got around to doing it because I decided I needed to do the wiring system before I put the fridge in, which required taking down the walls. So I knew I wasn't gonna do it until I rebuilt the bus. So here we are, we're building the bus. We can now put the fridge in. Huge thank you to New Air for providing this fridge for the build. I'll talk more about it when I actually go to install it. For now, I just wanna put it in the bus, test fit it, and um, yeah. Thankfully, there are some spots where we can actually bolt the fridge down to the floor. I'm psyched with that. It's a very pretty fridge. The awesome thing is that there's enough room behind the fridge for two five gallon water tanks. The water tanks are gonna go back there. They will feed a sink, which will be right above the fridge. Hopefully, yeah, there should be enough depth for a sink. And then there will be some holes on the outside of the bus to fill and drain the two water tanks that are in here. The electrical system I'm getting is going to be a 3000 watt constant and 6000 watt surge electrical system. So it will be able to run an AC unit an audio system, a refrigerator, and like a microwave all at once. It's gonna be a pretty powerful electrical system and it's gonna be pretty awesome. I added these two posts on the end of the countertop. This will provide us a good place to mount the hinges that will hinge the uh, the folding up part of the countertop. Instead of having the hinges just mount to plywood, they can mount to this thicker wood. I'm gonna go ahead and add another support, like so, in the middle of the um, um, the shelf, right? That's what it is. I'm kind of prying it up level with this big stick. I'll put the thing in, glue it on, and then remove the stick once the glue is dried. And now we have reached a better stopping point. Both of the middle supports are in for the shelves. This one is a, a 
little bit crooked, but you won't see it because there'll be a trim piece over it. So don't worry. That should probably be enough to hold up the shelves reliably, but I'm gonna add more. I was definitely realizing that I'm trying to focus on so many things at once. I'm trying to focus at the big picture so I can plan ahead, but I'm kind of forgetting a lot of the specific things that each thing needs. So I think I'm gonna try to focus on one area at a time. For instance, this episode, I kind of focused on the kitchen cabinets getting that all ready. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. If you didn't, please give it a dislike. I'm so excited to get this thing finished. 2019 is gonna be really, really good for us, I think. As always, if you have any um, suggestions or criticism, please let me know. I'm definitely reading all the comments for this build and you guys are coming up with a lot of really good ideas. So thank you, I really appreciate that. Having to think about so much stuff on this bus, I forget about some of the simple things. And that's what you guys are good at. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested, check out the gaming channel. And I'm just realizing I got glue on a nice piece of wood. <laughs> Cause it just seeps out afterwards. Ugh. All right guys, peace out. See you later.